All right, music fans, welcome. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for real people just like you and me. More sad news from the music world. Alec John Such, who was the original bass player for Bon Jovi, has passed away. He was 70 years old. Again, in my book, 70 is fairly young. Um, this just keeps happening, folks, and I'm not aware of a crazy hard lifestyle. Uh, in other words, I didn't hear that this guy, you know, partied hard and, you know, wore himself down. In fact, uh, if you go back to the late 80s, and I vaguely remember this story, when this guy was booted out of the band, a lot of people, I think, may have forgotten that. Uh, both John and Richie at the time were saying that his playing, especially live, uh, wasn't very good, or he was making mistakes, bass player, and he was screwing up. So at one point, I think he beat the band to the punch and got an article published about how he was being mistreated in the band, and then the band fired him shortly after that, or right around that time, the band claimed that the article itself didn't influence what they did, that this was something that was going to happen anyway, which leads me to believe that um, Alec John Such was trying to kind of head this off before uh, it actually happened. Um, this guy was really important because he brought in uh, Richie Sambora, uh, and Richie obviously was very important to the band. And you know, he started off and things I think were going well. Um, one article says his departure from the band was much like what happened with Bill Wyman in the Rolling Stones, that um, they were just going in different directions. You hear that all the time. This guy's going in this direction. Um, but, you know, if you go back in time, this isn't this isn't something that I think they're going to talk about a lot now because, you um, the guy is gone. And obviously, uh, that's super sad news. Again, you look around for cause of death, you look around for was he ill leading up to this point. Um, at least in some of these articles, you get things like after a short illness, so and so just passed away. Of course, you're getting a lot of, you know, this person died at 60 years old from natural causes, somebody uh, came back to me and said, well, you know, you can have somebody die of natural causes and it's not exactly natural causes. It's something else, but they put natural causes down uh, on the death cert certificate. So, which to me is weird. Um, why not just be transparent? Again, if it's something we want to avoid, we want to like steer clear from whatever that is, you would want to let people know. But we're in an age now where um, strange things are happening. And if you question them, you're automatically branded as some kind of a conspiracy theorist or you're not focusing on the topic. You're, you're always going down this one rabbit trail. And I am. Uh, this guy wasn't that old. And um, he did, by the way, show up for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame ceremony and gave a great speech. Uh, and he had been forgotten about for a long time. So in any event, he finally made the news and he made the news in the worst way possible. So again, not gonna belabor this video. I'm just gonna do my usual thoughts and prayers, obviously going out to the family of Alec John Such. And he was an important part of a band uh, that back in the eighties was hitting on all cylinders right when he left the band. So again, it's too bad that all had to happen. But I think at this point in time, it's just, you know, remembering what he brought to the table and understanding that 70 is not really that old, you know, even for a rock star, it's not that old. So that's just my point of view on this. And uh, I'll just leave it there. Thanks for watching. And of course, I will see you soon.